Peanuts. Doris Daddy Home. Oh, darling, welcome back. Good evening, honey. Where is our daughter? Oh, she's sitting in the bedroom. What's the problems? Nothing. I just want to see her. And I bought to you this. OMG, really? A necklace? Yes, do you like it? I love it, darling. Now let's see our daughter. Doris, do you miss me, my baby? I bought this for you. Look. You don't like it. So what about this? I'm so sorry, honey. I thought you like it. What's the problem, darling? Is she mad at you? No, I don't think so. She just doesn't care about me. What's wrong with her? Oh, don't worry, honey. She just like me. What do you mean? Ever since I was little, I couldn't feel any emotions either. But don't worry, she'll be fine soon. No way. I can't let this happen forever. I just want our daughter be like a normal people. Oh, just relax, darling. When she grows up, she will meet someone who can rekindle her love. You don't understand. I will soon find a way to help her recover emotionally. Chill, babe. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I also really want to feel some emotions. Don't worry, Doris. I will help you. After that, my dad tried everything to get me emotional again. What do I do now? No doctor can explain that disease. Daddy. Yes, honey. I really love your teddy bear you give me. Really? Really, Daddy, don't worry about me. I love you so much. I don't want you to be sad because of me. Oh, honey, you never made me sad. I'm so glad you're happy again. I always happy. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. No, Mom, I'm really happy. Oh, my honey. If you want anything, just let me know. I will but all the things you need. Hee <laughs> hee, okay, Daddy. I pretend to have feelings to make my dad happier. But actually, I still don't have any feelings and my dad know that. In the school, did you read the magazine yesterday? I already read it. The dress at the top of the cover is amazing. Right. I really want to buy that dress. That dress is very expensive. So what? I can buy anything I want. Hey, she's the new student, isn't she? I don't know. Let me try asking. I find her quite strange. You don't have to say hello to her. Oh, come on. Look how pretty she looks. Maybe she's also passionate about fashion. Maybe you're right. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Looks like you're new here. My name is Linda. Nice to meet you. Ami uh, and the girl sitting over there are best friend. Hi. And her name is Rose. Ah, uh, we think you're pretty, so we want to be friends with you. Perhaps you are also follower of Fajin. Turn away. Wait, you haven't answered me yet. Did I say something wrong? If you have any questions, you can ask us, okay? Leave. Hey, you don't you have a mouth? We don't force you to answer or anything. But people who are mute also know how to shake their heads and not. She's just trying to help you. At least say hello back, okay? Calm down, Rose. I'm still fine. Maybe she just doesn't like to talk. Hey, are you really dumb? Rose, look at her. She kept staring at me like crazy. Are you making fun of me? Stop, Rose. Don't be mad. Why? She is neither mute nor deaf. Are you challenging me? OMG Rose, don't do that. What? She really is a freak. She better not appear here. You don't have to say hello to that thing. Chill girl, I'm still fine. Are you okay, Doris? I'll sit next to you. Do you need any help? Ugh, don't say anything with her. She is just a freak. Leave. Hey Doris, do you need any help? See, she didn't even thank the person who lifted her up. Didn't her parents teach her how to thank and apologize? Even hello. Just calm down, Rose. I'm sorry. I get angry when she behaves like this towards people who want to help her. Maybe she's quiet and doesn't like to be social. I don't know. You must stay away from her, Lisa. She is really weird. 
I don't know. Ch she really is a betis. Since that day I was constantly bullied by Rose and her friend. I really wanted to stop that too, but she's really unlikable. I told Ya, she doesn't even cry or scream when we hit her. Yeah, that's really weird. Why do you have the patience to help her, Lisa? Because she's really pitiful in a way. Duh, are you a Wonder Woman? I'm not a hero or anything to pity the unlucky souls. If she realizes it herself, she should at least change herself. I don't want to talk about her anymore, let's talk about something else. Yeah, you're right. I'm so tired. I really don't know what to say to them. I feel so empty. I also wish I could be like a normal person. But I only feel nothing. Why I don't know. How could I know? Seeing them happy and sad at the same time is like a miracle. Then just pretend like you're with Dad Doris. Okay. I understand. Tomorrow in the school. Well, 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 someone is coming. I wonder who is she? Is she the weirdest girl in the class? Ha ha ha. Oh, Rose. Good morning. What the? Oh my good morning to Linda. You remember my name. How can I forget? You are the one who tried to help me when I first came here. But I was so bad back then. I was too shy and scared to say a word. I'm so sorry so to make you sad, Linda. Please forgive to me, okay? Oh, Doris, of course I will forgive you. Wait, wait, why are you changing so quickly? Are you acting with us? No, Rose. I know that I acted stupid and upset you. I should have thanked you. Because without you, no one would have helped me. Ugh, it's fine, I didn't do much. Thank you so much, guys. We are so happy to see you change like that. Ugh, yeah. Linda was right. I'm just mad at you thinking you don't know thank you or sorry. No, you are angry with me is right. If it weren't for your anger, I probably wouldn't have changed. What's the problems, guys? On Lisa, you're here. I miss you so much. What happened? Did you get hit in the head by something? Ha ha ha. No, I'm not. I just really miss you and I'm sorry for being indifferent to you all this time. Oh, Doris, it's okay. I always want to help you. Oh, MG, really? I love you so much. Doris changed. We're so happy for that. Linda was right. What do you guys think when we go shopping together at the end of class? Sounds great, let's go. Yay. Since becoming emotional, no one has bullied me anymore. But having to pretend like that makes me tired quickly. Mom, I don't want to pretend anymore. You say I'm like you, but I don't see it. You are so happy and full of happiness. Not like me. Am I broken somewhere? Oh, honey, don't worry. Before I met your father, I was an emotionless person. But after your dad appeared, I fell in love with him from the first time. Then I suddenly felt that my whole life was filled with color. My heart is beating so fast, I thought it was long dead. Your father is the one who saved me from emptiness. So what do you want to say? Someday not too far away, you will meet someone who will save your heart. Just like your father. I understand, mom. But when will that person appear? Five years later. Another year of pretending. I really want to disappear. Excuse me. Oh. I'm so sorry. Did I startle you? You just dropped this. I just want to give it back to you. Yes, I, uh. Yes, what's the problem? OMG, he's so cute. My heart beats so fast. Is there something wrong with my face? Haha. <laughs> uh, nothing, thank you. Next time, please be more careful. Okay, I understand. So, bye. Bye and thanks again. Haha, <laughs> don't be mentioned. OMG, I felt something. A feeling I've never had before. Suddenly my life is so colorful. Mom was right, he appeared already. He's belonged to me. Since then, I have been following him continuously and learned that his name is Dylan. Good morning, Doris. You look so happy.
Yeah, look at your girl. It's like you just fell in love. Ha ha ha. No, I'm not he he. Aw, you're so sweet, Doris. Can we know who is he? No, stop, girls. I don't like anyone. What a pity while Linda is secretly in love with a stranger guy. No, he's not strange to us. Oh, so who is she? But have to promise not to tell this to anyone else. We will. So his name is Dylan. What? He's our senior. He'll graduate at the end of this year. Wow. Sounds cool, girl. Fighting. Go and get your man heart. Hee <laughs> hee, I will. Wish you guys happy. I will confess to him next week. Hope he will accept me. OMG, he will, girl. Look at you, you're so beautiful. Really, thank you so much, Rose. I just gave him a lunchbox yesterday. And he said he absolutely loved it. He wants to eat once more the lunchbox that I made. Damn, sounds good. Look like you and him are going to be a couple. Hee <coughs> hee, I hope so. Leave. Where are you going, Doris? Ah, uh, sorry guys. I got a call from my mom. Okay, see you later. Okay, Saya. Saya. Damn it, damn it. Linda loves him too. Impossible. She even approached him before me. No, no, no. Dylan belongs to me. He is the one who saved my life. I won't let him fall into someone else's hands. Even Linda. Daddy, do you have any packs of cigarettes left? I need it in chemistry class tomorrow. I only have one box left, but it's been a long time since I smoked. If it's for your course, then I'm sure. I put it in that bedroom drawer. Okay, thank you, Daddy. But do you really use it for your studies? If not, then... Daddy, I'm say the truth. Don't you believe me? No, no, I don't mean it. I'm worried because your school bans students from smoking. Haha, <laughs> Daddy. I don't know how to smoke. So don't worry, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for worrying too much. Tomorrow in the afternoon. Sir, I would like to report to you about a student. Oh, tell me, please. If you have to come see me, it must be a big deal. Yes, I saw a student sneaking a cigarette in the back of the school. It's forbidden in our school. Yes, I know. That's why I decided to talk about this with you. So what's his name? It's a girl. Her name is Linda. She is in the same class as me. Okay, I will remember this. Thank you, but can you keep this report of mine a secret? Because the person I am about to report is a very good friend. So if she's your best friend, why did you decide to denounce her? I don't want to do that, because after all she helped me a lot. But this goes too far with the school rules. That's why I think there should be a reasonable punishment for her. That way she won't do it again. While I have never seen a student who thinks for school like you, you are the student everyone should follow. Thank you for your attention. I hope what you say is true. I'll work with that girl after school. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. You're welcome. After school. Who finally? Class is finally over. I know a very nice little restaurant on that street. There they sell cupcakes. Wow, that's a great idea. I love cupcakes so much. Would you like to go with us, Doris? I will for you. Oh, I'd love to go with you girls. But I have some things to do right now. My mom needs me to come home early to cook dinner. Maybe next time I'll go with you. Oh, what a pity. Okay, so see you tomorrow, Doris. Okay, bye. So are we going? I don't know. Doris seems to be quite busy lately. Maybe something happened at her house. I don't know. Linda, the principal, is calling for you. What? What really? Yes, I'm not kidding. Did you do something wrong? No, I'm not. Yeah, she's always stay with me. Well, I assured then. Come with me. Maybe he wants to ask you for some favors. Yeah, maybe. You can go first. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, Saya. In the principal's room. Thank you for bringing her here, Lisa. You can go now. I understand, sir. Will I have to be here alone? Don't worry, you did nothing wrong. It will be fine. 
Okay, I understand. See you soon. So you must be Linda. Yes, it is me. Do you know what you did wrong? What? No, I'm not doing anything. I'll hope so. Maybe I see your bag. What? Someone reported that you were sneaking a cigarette in the back of the school. And I need your coordination to see if you really do it. No, I don't. I will never do that. I hate cigarettes so much. Who denounced me like that? You don't need to know who that person is. Take care of yourself now. I swear I don't smoke. I hope you don't do the same. If you didn't make mistake, let me check your bag, okay? Okay, here. I was expecting you to tell the truth. But if you choose to lie, I can't forgive you. What do you mean? So what is this? What? No, I don't know anything about it. You must be kidding me. So you mean I'm slandering you? No, I'm. If you confess your sins now then I will look into it and forgive you. No, I have never smoked. And I don't know why it's in my bag, I swear. Linda, you have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Please listen to me, I'm not. Enough, Linda. Lucky for you today, only I know about this. You should examine yourself before making another mistake. I don't want you to make another mistake. I will give you a second chance to change. Don't let me down on you. But I, I understand. Good. Now you can go home. In Roblox group chat. Linda, what did the principal say to you? What happened? Why is the principal calling you? Oh, guys. What's the problems tell us? You making me worry, Linda. Just calm down, girl. What happened? Someone harmed me. What? Who did that to you? Do you know who that person is? I don't know. The principal kept that person's identity a secret. Damn it. What did he accuse you of? Cigarettel, someone put a pack of cigarettes in my bag. Then he said he saw me smoking after school. What the hell? It's unacceptable. Don't worry too much, Linda. We know you don't do that. Doris is right. Tomorrow I will testify for you. No, if you do that, the principal will think you're my accomplice. I didn't have any proof that I didn't smoke at the time. So the principal didn't believe me. It's also true. We didn't expect this to happen to you. So we couldn't protect you. Damn it, who can do that? If knew who he was I'd punch him. What do I do now, girls? I'm so scared. Don't worry Linda. I will help you find out who that person is. Really Doris thank you so much. I will help you too, Doris. You don't need to, Lisa. I know you are very busy working at the library. So leave this to me. Okay, Doris. I believe you. And Rose you should stay with Linda as long as possible. That way you can protect her. Yeah, I get it. And I will do the most dangerous job. I'll try to find out who he is. Be careful, Doris. I don't want anyone hurt you. Yeah, me too. If you have something, please tell us. Thanks, but now Linda's safety comes first. Linda, please try to pay attention to your surroundings. And remember to check your bag before you go home. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much, girls. I love you all. What should I do next? They really are idiots. Tomorrow in the school. Good morning, girls. Morning, Doris. I brought lunchbox today. It would be great if we could eat on the terrace. Great idea, let's have lunch on the terrace. Oh cool, I love it. So should we invite Lisa? I tried asking but she said she was too busy so. What a pity. Then just the three of us is enough. Okay. Ah, uh, our first period is gymnastics, right? Yes, what's the problems? Nah, I'm afraid I'm wrong, ha ha ha. Let's go girl or we will be late for class. Okay, I'm coming. Lunch time. Yes, finally. Lunch time. Let's eat. I can't wait for this. Yeah. We should go to the rooftop before everyone takes up all the seats. You're right, Doris. So come on. Wait, I have to get the lunch box. I almost forgot about this. I already brought it. I'll go up there first to get a seat. Okay. 
Oh, go with her, Linda. It's dangerous if you're alone. Yeah, go with me, Linda. Okay. Dang it, I don't remember where I left the lunch box. Do you take it down to the gym? Do you often bring lunch boxes with you? Oh, maybe I left it there too. Oh, my brain. Haha, <laughs> go faster then. We will waiting for you. Wait for me, okay? Okay. On the rooftop. Then weather today is beautiful. It's perfect for taking a nap. Ha ha ha. You're right, Linda. Why are you suddenly thanking me? Because you guys tired to support me when I was in trouble. Ah, Linda, don't mention it. I'm honestly, thank you so much. You're welcome, Linda. So while we're waiting for Rose, let's talk about it that girl over there. Who? Ah, Violet Wright. Yes, she is. OMG, she's the most fashionable girl in this school. I know I admire her so much. I wish I could be like her one day. Matu. Oh, look at her ring, Linda. It's so shiny and sparkly. I see it's really beautiful. I really want to ask her about that ring. But I'm too shy to talk to strangers, you know that. Oh, I get it. Do you want me to ask her about the ring for you? OMG, really? You will do that for me. Of course. I love socializing with people. Especially a fashionista like her. So please help me, okay? It's not a big deal, I will do it for you. Ah, thank you so much. Ah, hi, Violet. I'm Linda. Oh, I heard about you. You are the girl who won the excellent student award last year. You really amazing. Oh, really? I'm so glad to hear that. You talk about this. Yes, I see you take it everywhere. It must be a very important for you. Yeah, you're right. This is my family heirloom ring. It was specially made for my late grandmother. Trust me, you won't find a second ring that looks like his. Wow, that story is interesting. Do you usually take it off while having lunch? Yeah, because that ring is too big for my finger anyway. It can fall at any time without me noticing. So at lunchtime I take it off and put it next to me like this. Oh I understand. By the way, your makeup is so beautiful. And amazing too. Oh god, really? Yes if didn't look closely I'd think you weren't wearing any makeup. Haha <laughs> do you want me to show you some tips? I will be the luckiest person to hear it. So first of all you must. Hey I'm back. Why did you go so long? Five more minutes until lunch time. My lunch box fell under a cupboard. It took me a long time to get it. I couldn't lift cupboards so I had to ask my senior for help. Really? Why did you leave the lunch box there? I don't know actually I don't remember. Next time I'll put it in the drawer. Yeah you should do that. Oh and Linda Rose finally come back. Okay I see her. Sorry Violet, I need to go right now. My friend is waiting. It's so nice to talking with you, Violet. I'll see you soon. Okay see you another day. Okay bye. Why did you go so long Rose? I've already finished eating. Sorry my lunch box was stuck. Oh tell me later okay. It's time for class now. Okay. So what did she say to you, Linda? Who? It's Violet. I know her. She said about. It's time for class now. I need to hurry up. Where is my ring? OMG I just left it here. Where is it? Oh my god dot 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 and why mom will kill me if I lost it? Oh maybe it fell somewhere. It's not here. Impossible. It can't just disappear like that. Maybe maybe someone stole it. Who could that be? Normally no one notices it. OMG Linda. In the class. Ouch my head. What's the problem Doris? Are you okay? You look so tired. I don't know. Suddenly I feel a headache. I think I can. Let me take you down to the infirmary. Oka okay, thank you Linda. I'll ask the teacher's permission to let you go home soon. Sir, I need your help. You should be in class by now. Please, 
I lost my ring and I can't find it anywhere. So have you tired looking around? Let me tell you, the principal's office is not the place to solve all problems. If you lose your stuff, go see the administrator. Or ask your friends around. I still have a lot of work to do. No things are not as simple as you think. I think it was stolen by someone. Is that true? I'd hate to think we have a thief here at school. I'm pretty sure. So why are you so sure? Tell me. I'm suspicions of person. Only after talking to her did the ring disappear. So who is she? And if you're sure it's her, why don't you go and question her? Isn't that faster? You don't understand. I have to keep my image and I'm afraid she'll hide it. Okay, I see I'll get to the bottom of his. So what's her name? Her name is... After the school. Thank you so much, Linda. I feel less headache now. Not at all. It's normal. Is that your guy over there? OMG, that is Dylan, my prince. My god, Rose, we are not lovers yet. Haha, uh, I'm just kidding. Go get him, girl. You can do it. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, hi, Linda, is that your friend? Ah, uh, yes, they are my friend. Hello, girls. Hi, I'm Rose. Egg, I owed my my name is Og. Her name is Doris. She doesn't like socializing with strangers that much, so... No, I'm not. Ah, uh, I mean... Oh, it's okay. I understand. Don't get the wrong idea, hee hee. She's very friendly, just a little shy. Don't worry. I understand. It's cute to be a little shy. Ha ha ha. OMG, what did he say? Ah, oh, my heart. So where are you going, Dylan? Oh, I was going to the library to borrow some books. Wow, sounds cool. Can I go with you? You can't. Of course, why not? If you don't mind. Hee hee hee, I'm not. Linda, there you are. Come with me right now. What? Why do you look so angry? What's the problem? Ugh, listen. Check your bag now. What? What happened again? How could I know? The principal called you again. What did you do this time? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, she didn't do anything. Right, Doris? Yes, she's right. What happened, girls? Is there anything I can do to help? You have nothing to do with this, so don't bother. Oh, okay. Then I will go first. See you tomorrow. Ah, bye. So, I'll check it out right away. Nothing. They're nothing to worry about. Phew, luckily. So why were you called away? I just don't get it. If you don't have anything in your bag, don't worry, just go. Can I go with her, Lisa? Nope, you can't. The principal's office is no joke. Why does Lisa look so serious? What happened to her? I heard that she was promoted to student council president. That's why she's been so busy lately. If a student causes a riot, she must be held accountable. Oh, I get it. That's the reason why she mad at Linda, right? Yeah, you're right. But I still don't understand. Linda was with us all day today. What can she do or harmed by anyone? I have no idea. My lunchbox was also hidden in strange place today. Because I'm the one who did this. Ha ha ha, you will never know about his. Never. Honestly, I'm not happy to see you here at all. Now tell me, what did you do wrong? There must be some misunderstanding, sir. I'm not doing anything wrong. So how would you explain Violet's theft of the ring? What? I'm not. Did she tell you that? Yes, after talking to you, her ring disappeared. Just like that, don't blame me. But you were the last one to talk to her after the ring disappeared. You are under suspicion. Ugh, okay, I understand. Here, you can check my bag. I have nothing to fear. You're right, there are no rings here. Phew. But what about your jacket pocket? You can check it. There won't be any rings anyway. No way. Look like there's something in my pocket. OMG. You won't mind, will you? Let me explain, please. What are you hiding in your pocket? 
No, I'm not. This doesn't belong to you, does it? Please let me explain. I don't know anything about that ring. Then why is this ring in your pocket? You mean it jumped into your pocket on its own? No, I don't mean it. I really didn't steal it. Why don't you admit your guilt? This is the second time already. I can't cover for you this time. If I don't punish you, the other students will complain. I didn't steal it at all. I don't know how it ended up in my pocket either. You were the only one who approached her and asked about the ring. No one had ever asked her about it before. And coincidentally, after you leave, the ring also disappears. But I know. Silent. I've heard enough. You should go apologize to Violet soon and take the punishment. No, please. Then Lindo was heavily criticized. Lisa was also criticized for not managing students well. This really made her angry and warned Linda harshly. What have you been doing these past few days? Can't you stop messing around? I can't keep watching you forever. I still have a lot of work to do. Calm down, Lisa. It's not what you think. Linda did nothing wrong. She was harmed. Harm? Are you making fun of me? No one just goes to piss off someone who's not at fault. If you've offended someone, apologize to them and stop the mess. Or are you really messing around? That it. We can't find who is it yet. Give us more time, Lisa. Just forgive for her this time, okay? We're friend, right? Not anymore. If she can't explain this mess, I won't have anything to say to her. Even we're friend. Now I don't have time to play with you guys. She is really angry. She can't do that with her. Can't blame her just for that ring. What if someone sneaked it into her pocket and slandered her? Yes, you're right, Rose. Maybe it was Violet who did it. At that time, she was the one sitting closest to me. That bitch. Yet she dared to harm me. Violet, is she your accuser? Yes, she is. Ugh, it's okay. I will help you. Oh no, I can't believe Violet are that kind of person. If she does that to you few more times, I'm afraid you'll be suspended. I know I won't let this go. Yeah, she will pay for what she did. Tomorrow. Well, well, who here? A thief OMG looks like that's right. Ha ha ha. Ugh you. What? Are you still confronting me after stealing my stuff? You really have no shame. Shut up, bitch. We all know you harmed her. Excuse me, do you have any proof? Ugh I. You don't have right. So why do you dare raise your voice at me? Or maybe you and her colluded to steal my things. No I'm not. Leave her alone. This is between you and me. Linda. Oh, I'm so scared. So what do you want now? Punch me. On my face. Look at her, guys. A girl who steals things, I though she came here to apologize to me. But she came here to beg for one more punishment. Our school can't accept the thief, Riot. Yeah, you're right. Ha ha ha. If you steal once, there will definitely be a second and a third time. This time I was lucky enough to get it back. If it's later, I don't know where you will take it. People like you should be expelled from school soon. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah, expel her. You guys are so mean. Shut up, shut up. I never took anything from you. It's all because you messed with me. It's all your fault. Linda. Linda rushes in to beat Violet. OMG, they are fighting. Stop Linda, you can't beat her at this time. You bitch you think can ruin my life? Never. Ouch help I can't breathe. Stop right now Linda. I'll disperse quickly. What Lisa? What the hell are you doing, Linda? I already told you. Stop messing round everywhere. Now you are done, so done. Linda, meet me at principal's office now. The rest take Violet to the infirmary. Okay, I understand, sir. No, I can explain. Please listen to me. I'm not say it twice. Quickly. No, it can't be. I just arrived. What happened to her rose? Violet provoked Linda. She got angry and got into a fight with Violet. 
but it seems Violet fainted because Linda hit her too hard. Oh no, what do we do now? I don't know ho. I'm out nervous for Linda. I should have stayed by her side. I should have gone in to help her. It's not your fault, Rose. Maybe she did it because she didn't want you involved. Don't worry, she will be fine. I hope so. Come with me. It's time for class. Okay, I know. How do you explain what just happened? She provoked me. I just ask for justice. Justice. You beat your accuser and then you demand justice. You're just angry because you were caught red-handed. No, that's not what I mean. Enough I don't want to talk about your mess anymore. Just one more time and you're done. What? What do you mean? If you make another mistake, you will be expelled. No, I won't. I swear, I don't anything wrong again. You better do that. Now get Uta here. Are you satisfied yet? What do you mean? Linda is almost isolated now. You still have no intention of stopping. Ah, uh, I don't know what you mean, Lisa. Ugh, I'm seriously. Your job now is to shut up and do what I say. I just don't understand. Isn't she your best friend? When? What? I already told you, none of you are my friend. He's the only one who gives me this feeling. Are you kidding me? He's just a bland book loving guy. You two don't even know who each other is. We know. We were born for each other. Ugh. Don't forget you are in this position today because I helped you. I remember. Or you can choose to stab me in the back and boom. You lose this position immediately. No, I will never do that. Yeah, I know I believe you. Don't worry, Lisa. Moreover, they deserve it. Didn't they bully me when I first got here? Oh my, I should have felt nothing and let them go. But since having feelings, I know what anger is. You really are the villain. Oh poor, I'm actually still kind. I only harm those who have feelings for my crush. You should feel lucky for that. Now I have a favor to ask of you. What again? All of Linda's mistake will be forgiven shortly after. I need something that even the principal can't forgive. She must be kicked out immediately. The longer she's here, the more petty she'll get from Dylan. What do you want? I think Linda won't notice him anymore. So just forgive her. Oh no girl, you don't understand. Love is love. Even when she's full of guilt, she's still with Dylan. She must disappear in this place. Anyway, Dylan hasn't paid much attention to her yet. I have to act before she confesses to him. I think I can't do it more. Oh Lisa Lisa. The position you are standing in is very fragile. Do you want to try a little hard? But I just can't please. So what about one thousand dollars? What? Heard that your little brother is very sick. Oh poor boy, this amount can pay for the entire hospital. But it seems you don't need it. Ah then I'll take it to buy some dresses. No I need it I will do anything for you. Anything you want. Okay good girl. Thank you so much. So what can I help you? I need the answer sheet for tomorrow's test. What no way. Are you crazy? It's impossible. I know that you are keeping the exam for tomorrow. You are an excellent and exemplary student. It will be very easy for you to solve the entire test correctly. Please solve it tonight and give me the answer sheet. I need it. If I'm found out, I'll be dead. You will never be found out, don't worry. Hurry up and $1,000 will be your. Ugh, okay, I understand. Tomorrow. Hi, Linda. Hi. What are you, Oka? We'd better leave her alone for now. I think she's not in the mood to talk right now. Oh, okay. Maybe you're right, Doris. If you need help, let us know. Okay. There's a test today, so do your best. I know. Ah, okay. Meanwhile. Sir, I need to tell you something. Go hurt. I think someone tampered with the exam question. What? Yesterday I was sorting documents I left the exam question in the middle row. 
but after I got back from the toilet, the exam paper was placed somewhere else. Are you sure? Have you checked more closely? Yes, I have. Now one hour left until test time. Let's go test each class to see who tampered with the test. I will send other members to check together. Okay. After going to test each different class. Hey Rose, why did the principal come here? Nah, I don't know. Maybe someone messed up right before the exam day. Maybe you right. What? But it's too much of a coincidence. Linda be careful. Ha. Huh? What do you mean? Let me check your briefcase and desk drawer. Wait what? For what? I told her to do it. You should comply. This is just a small survey. Okay, fine. It's nothing in here, sir. Nah. It's nothing in here, too. Okay. Check another. Wait, I can't believe anyone else, so... Can you check my desk drawer for me, sir? What? Are you lost your mind? Yeah, I can. I believe you won't make a mistake. Fine. Let me see. What this inside of your desk? What the... It's just a paper. A paper? Look at this. What? Impossible. It can be. An answer sheet. You're cheating. Unacceptable. What? Wait, no. I don't know how that got there. Come with me, obviously. We need to have a long talk about the kind of behavior. That will not be tolerated at this school. Oh no, Linda. What have she done? OMG, you're cheating. I can't believe you do that. No, I'm not. Stand up. We don't have enough time to stay here. After all this, I also believe that you were not harmed. You did it on purpose. We were so disappointed in you. You are not our friend anymore. No. That's it. I've given you enough second chances. You have repeatedly broken school rules and ignored every warning that I have. Given you, you have left me with no choice but to permanently expel you. No, please don't do this. I'm so sorry. It's too late right now. Everyone sees you cheating. And you still want me to forgive you? Never have heard enough for this. You are officially expelled from school. No. After that, Linda was expelled and she never came back here again. I don't worry about Dylan getting robbed anymore. Ah, uh, hi, you dropped this wallet. Oh, thank you so much. That wallet is very important to me. You're welcome. Be careful next time, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, the book you're holding is the book I'm reading, too? Oh, really? What a coincidence. So do you mind if I help you with that? Oh, why not? I'm so glad to hear that. Great, I'm on my way to the library. Will you come with me? Yes, I will. After Dylan and I shared a lot of things, me and him soon became lovers. This is story builds Doris in the position of a successful villain. I do not mean to support this extreme way of love. So enjoy the drama.